Have you called your mom this week? Be honest. If you're a viewer of my channel, that probably means you're an ambitious person and you probably have a lot of goals related to your career and your life. And generally, you just want to get the most out of your life. And there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, it's a good thing. But recently, something that I've been thinking a lot about and reflecting on is whether or not I've been a good son. Now, everyone's definition is probably a little bit different. And I know some of you right now are probably looking at me and thinking, Matt, what are you talking about? You are literally every Asian parent's dream. You work at Google, you worked in management consulting, you worked in investment banking, you got into all of these extremely competitive jobs. How could you possibly be a bad son? And the honest truth is there's been many instances throughout the past couple of years and even when I was in college where I was deep in the thick of grinding towards something and I neglected to call my parents or I neglected to respond to my mom. I basically left her on red. Sorry, mom, if you're watching this. And the reality is that in most of those cases, it's not that I was deliberately avoiding speaking with my parents. In fact, I'm really fortunate to actually have a really great relationship with my mom and dad. I think growing up, they struck a good balance of raising my siblings to understand that it's you know, good to accomplish great things and that hard work leads to results, but at the same time, you are not defined necessarily by your achievements. But that said, I've realized that I tend to justify neglecting relationships with important people in my life by the fact that I tell myself I'm locking in and I'm in the thick of the grind and it's all gonna be worth it in the end because look at me a year from now, I'm gonna have so much money, I'm gonna be so successful, I'm gonna have landed that job that I wanted for so long and people are gonna be proud of me. And now that I've been through multiple cycles of this, where I have gone through that whole journey of having a desire, grinding super hard, locking myself away and neglecting a lot of important people in my life and including my parents and waiting until I got that achievement and then thinking to myself that, oh, once I get this thing, once I achieve this thing, everything will sort itself out and people will all understand, right? I've realized that that mentality is a little bit toxic. And the ironic thing is that the people that often care about you the most in your life, whether it's your best friend, your brother, your sister, or your parents, they are the ones that will care the least. They couldn't give a shit about what material accomplishments you have or whether or not you're a millionaire or if you're broke. The people that care about what achievements you have in your resume and define your worth based on that are often the ones that care about you the least. And I think there's something really important to be said about that because it makes you realize how important the why behind why you are working so hard is, right? And I encourage all of you watching to do this is ask yourself why you are working so hard for that thing that you want so badly. Because again, at the end of the day, the people that matter the most to you most likely do not care about the outcome. And I think that's a beautiful thing because it takes a lot of the pressure off of you to achieve things. And something that I've realized recently is that mentality that I've been having of, oh, it's okay that I'm not calling home or I'm not texting my mom back for days or even weeks. That's okay because it's not that I don't love them. No, it's, it's not that I'm a bad son. It's just I'm grinding right now. I'm in the thick of the grind. And so, you know, I'm just, just wait a year or two from now where I'm gonna be so successful. And I've also recently gotten this notion in my head of wanting to retire my parents, which sounds like a very noble and nice goal that motivates me to work really hard in my career. But at the same time, what is the point of all of this achievement and what is the point of pursuing all of this accomplishment if at the end of the day, my parents, I know they wouldn't love me any more or less based on what job I have or how successful my career is. And so anyways, normally I make videos that are more focused on the tactical aspects of how to succeed in your career or how to do well in the interview. But I also wanna be completely transparent about the fact that at the end of the day, we have to be really thoughtful. As ambitious people, it's really important for us to be thoughtful about what the why and what the underlying reason behind why we are striving so hard for our goals is. Because what you'll realize is that once you do accomplish that thing, because many of you will reach very impressive heights, once you do accomplish that thing, that doesn't solve all of your problems and it doesn't make all of the issues in your personal life go away. And so with that, I will close by just asking you one more time, have you called your mom this week? You tell me.